Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie another bluegill fly and this is going to be a peacock and red. The hook I have in advice is a number 12. This is a two extra long nymph hook. I'm going to use 70 denier black thread. I'm going to put a base of thread down. First we're going to tighten it up in the vise. There we go. Put a base of thread down. Bring that back to where the barb of the hook would be. I'm going to start with the tail. For the tail I'm going to use a dyed red duck quill. And we want that to be about just barely the length of the shank. I'm going to tie in a rib, fine gold wire. Now for the body, I'm going to use two peacock hurl. We're going to tie them in by the tip, but I'm going to get away from the very tip a little bit so I don't have a lot of fragile material to, to work with. I'm going to take this and wrap this all forward and wrap that all in you'll get a more consistent body. Try to keep that at the top. And we're going to stop one eye length from the eye of the hook. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on the shank. And then wrap the peacock hurl. Oop. Let me get them together better. There we go. When you wrap peacock hurl by the tip, you seem to get a more vibrant color out of it. Then wrapping it from the butt sections. You get a duller color from the butt sections. And yeah, be careful of that hook point as you go. I'm going to bring that right up to the thread. Let me back that off there just a bit. That section seems to be flattening out on me there. I'll just put some more wraps on there to make it full. And there we go. Tie that off. Now I'm going to take the fine copper wire. I'm going to counter wrap that being the opposite direction you wrap your peacock hurl. And this gives an added security measure to the peacock hurl. Go ahead and tie that off. Now for the collar, I'm going to use a furnace hackle, and I gave it the haircut. We're going to tie this in. I'm going 
to put my pliers on there. Pull that heckle out to one side there. This one was easy. Got it right on one side pretty easily. And I'm going to tie that off there. Secure that. Oop, can't see. There we go. I'm going to pull all of those hackles to the rear. And we're going to tie back on that hackle just maybe two wraps so that we get the hackle going towards the rear. Now I have two slips from a dyed red duck quill. I'm going to put them on and we're going to keep that wing just into the tail. Size it up. Now I'm going to hold it. Take a loose loop, pull it straight down, you see them coming up, and you know it's right on top. There we go. And I'm going to trim the excess. And we're going to clean up that head. We'll take our whip finisher. Plug that up. And we'll put a little bit of head cement on there. Now you could take your head cement and put a little bit at the base of the wing. Put some on each side. Here we have a peacock and red bluegill wet fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.